Hi, this is Marcia Jeans, Instructional Technology Specialist, and in this video I will show you how to utilize the tables in Smart Notebook 10.0. First of all, let's get a glimpse at what some of the functions are of a table. Here's an example of using a table, drag and drop. You can drag and drop images and words right into a table. It's pretty neat. Now watch, when I drag this bear over into the table, notice the bear is too big for the cell. However, when I release it, it snaps into place. It's a pretty neat little feature. So you can drag and drop words or images into your table. Now, here's a, uh, an example of a table that was created for a place value chart. So these numbers down here are just cloned and they can be dragged and dropped right in location here on the place value chart. Pretty simple, very useful. Here's another neat little thing that you can do, is you can create a table and make it into a chart. These are called cell shades, and um, when you click on the cell shade, it disappears. So kids can come up and they can vote for their favorite thing, and it makes an instant bar graph. This is an excellent way to teach graphing to younger students. So let's see how we actually make a table. The table icon is right up here on the toolbar and when I click on it it's going to want me to select how many rows and columns I want. You can always add more later if you desire. So I'm going to click on that and it instantly adds the table onto the page. Now the biggest trick I think with the tables is getting it to move. So I found a little useful um, way of, of making the table move around because when you try to click and drag on it, it's not going anywhere. So take your cursor way up high in the left hand corner and kind of drag a big box around your table. And once you do that, a little small gray uh, handle will appear in the top left hand corner and that is where you can drag and drop your table anywhere on the page. You can also, if you want to adjust you know, the width or the height of any of your rows or columns, you can just drag those lines there. So that's pretty easy to do. If you want to type something, you can simply just type in a cell, click outside of it, and there you go. If you want the font to be changed, say that you want a different color font, and you can certainly do that as well as center, bold, of course, and you can change to a different type of font if desired. Okay, so pretty easy. Type right in there. Or you can also type outside here, drag, and drop. And it'll drop it right in there. Okay, now let's say if you want to remove a cell. Very easy, click on the cell, or excuse me, right click on the cell, delete cells. Pretty easy. Um, let's say that you want color on your table. You can just uh, click anywhere on your table, come over here to the paint bucket, pick the color that you would like, and click on it and instantly it colors in your table. Now there is a little bit of a different trick to that if you want different colors on your table. For example, maybe you don't want it all yellow, maybe you just want one of the columns to be yellow. Let me show you how I could change the color of just selected cells. So let's change this right here. I highlight those three. You need to do the right click, go to properties, and then you can pick a different color. Okay, so use the paint bucket if you want to fill in the entire table use the highlight and then right click to, to um, change the color of just selected cells. Now let me also show you about the cell shades. If you right click on a cell you can hit add cell shade. Pretty neat. When you click on it, it disappears. It's really neat. You can use it for all sorts of things. So I think I'm going to try to put that on my entire um, table at the same time. Oh, didn't work for me. I'll try it again. Maybe I can do these three rows. Add cell stage. So you can do multiple cells at a time to make it a little easier for you. Add cell shape. There you go. So those are some of the neat little features of 
the tables in Smart Notebook 10.0. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks and see you another day.